Hey, welcome to another week here at the Tolerant. Thomas is working on getting all the breakers connected in the breaker panel and I am running more CAT6 cables to all the different rooms. So I was able to run about half of all the different circuits that we need to do. I finished the first floor and the second floor. I haven't run anything um, for the internet down into 
the basement or in the third floor attic master uh, bedroom section. There's gonna be a few circuits for that. And one um, extra circuit that I'm still missing is in the first floor, the dining room um, slash kitchen area. There will be at least one circuit that I'm running to because it allows us to maybe attach at one point a uh, TV that runs the news or a calendar or the um, <clears throat> the cameras for the um, the security cameras on the outside. So I still have to run that, but everything else is done. I ran already 16 different uh, cables all over the place. So I think at the end I'll be around um, 30 to 34 um, different cables that I need to run of Cat6.
So our electrician during the week came by and finished attaching the cables and the breakers, the main breakers for each one of the sub panels and also the breaker in the main, uh, main panel in there attached all of them. So he provided power now to all of our sub panels and then Thomas started installing the breakers. We have a few different types of breakers. We have double breakers, of course, for higher voltage and higher uh, amperage um, appliances that need um, a red and a black um, wire going to them, which would be the range or the dryer. Um, so those are double ones. And then on the singles, we have either, we always have 15 or 20 amp ones where most of ours are 15 amp in most of the floors, besides here in the, um, first floor with the kitchen but you can see there's some that are a little wider and some of them they have basically the extension here and some of them are a little shorter and basically in the united states the new regulation is that we have to put arc fault protected uh, breakers or at least the circuit has to be arc fault protected um, then that is different than uh, the gfci protection and they have to add that in the <coughs> On the circuits um, instead of just doing an arc fault protector on one of the um, or on the first outlet i figured it's easier to just do it in the in the breaker box so we got arc fault protected uh, breakers uh, you can see they can be testable back it's just similar to a gfi um, they they solve for something different i'm not an electrician so i'm not even going to try to explain this <clears throat> but we have these type of breakers and then our standard breakers that don't need that the arc fault need to be in all the different living areas which would be living room um, bedrooms um, it's also required in the kitchen especially on the main uh, main um, circuits it is not required in the bathrooms and anywhere where the appliance is hardwired always in like a refrigerator or a microwave so that's why we you can you can see we have quite a few that don't need it um, for the bathrooms and the rest of the appliances in the kitchen. So I am so excited that this floor is now fully functioning. All the different outlets in all the rooms have power and we can use them. Um, one of our things for next week, we have to remove the old outlets in the parlor you can see here for example these ones we have to move over and get removed but everywhere else we have power now we have to finish obviously our cat six but all rooms in the first floor and all the lights are fully functioning now lately we had a lot of questions about our color scheme um, especially a lot of people that just came by and visit us um, our friends um, from the area and they have all been wondering kind of what um, final colors on the outside we are going to do and basically um, we'll link it on the description where we asked the question but uh, we kind of chose these these green tones the dark one the light green uh, with the white and then maybe another kind of an off green plus the red that we already have on the roof so those come kind of going to be our main color scheme with the greens the green tones white for trim and then red for some accent colors. One of the next few projects that we have to do before we can do windows and um, the uh, and insulation is taking off the old siding, inspecting what is underneath it, the wood, and repairing or redoing um, the siding underneath it. Um, we want to go back to the original wood siding. Um, obviously we want to uh, paint it and finish it the way it was originally done. So we really need to take this vinyl off that's uh, in really bad shape anyways so it just has to co all come down so probably here in the next few weeks we'll probably get started on that so Thomas and I made some really good progress this week with the breaker panel and the cables um, we're about halfway done with CAT6 so hopefully next week we can get that finalized we'll probably also do some cleanup next week and um, Thomas is going to start in the third floor doing all the breakers there and probably running also cable there so that that is all finished too. Um, one thing I still need is the electric company 
providing power to the second and third floor panels, meaning that one panel in the basement still doesn't have any um, electricity. I wasn't able to get a hold of anybody there yet, so hopefully this week I can get that organized and scheduled sometime for the future. Um, so I think this is it for this week. I hope everybody has a wonderful time and I'll see you next time I turn on the camera. Bye!